वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड माई नेम इज प्रियंका एंड आई लाइक टू कॉल माई सेल्फ एज क्रीपी रेनबो एंड टूडे आई एम बैक विद अनदर एक्साइटिंग वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी एस एफ एक्स मेकअप टूटोरियल विच इज इंस्पायर्ड बाई दी मूवी कॉल बर्ड बॉक्स इफ यू डोंट नो वट एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दैन जस्ट प्लीज गूगल अबाउट इट एंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वट एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द होल इंटरनेट इज गोइंग गागा ओवर इट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ काइंड ऑफ रिप्ट ऑफ थ्रोट इफेक्ट on my throat of course and uh, for that i'm starting off with uh, outlining my wounds with a cream lip liner pencil and in this case i'm using a red colored lip liner pencil but trust me guys you can use any color of your choice but just make sure that it is a cream pencil because in case you are making any kind of mistake you can just easily wipe it off and start fresh Once I'm outlining my wounds, I'm using here a modeling compound called Artex, and this one is from the brand called Kralan. The reason I didn't shoot the product because a um, couple of days ago my Artex bottles met an accident, and one of them got broken. So I am restoring it in some plastic container, which is really ugly ass. So basically, what you need to do is you need to mix component A and component B together in the same ratio, and then you are supposed to apply it on your desired area. But make sure that you do not mix them uh, all together in the bottle. That way, you will just end up ruining the whole product. And trust me, this modeling compound is really expensive. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying it around my uh, wound and just making the edges smooth with the help of my spatula. You can use your fingers also. But this modeling compound, when it is not set, can be extremely sticky. So if you are using your uh, hands, it's going to be very messy. So here I'm not using my fingers. I'm just using the my metal spatula. And once it start to set, it can like it is going to get easier to work with because you can see the consistency right now. And uh, do not put anything inside of your wound where you are going to create depth. Always. apply it outside of your wound that way you will just get that indented effect once i'm done with that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cancel out all the shine uh, by applying some baby powder now here you can use uh, again anything like your face powder or maybe your uh, setting powder but i just like found that baby powder does the job very nicely and it's extremely cheap so here i'm just using that with a fluffy brush so we can start uh, coloring off the wound and for that our first step would be uh, to match this mess with our skin tone and for that i'm using this foundation with the help of my beauty blender once you are happy with that now um, let's move on to the color. here i'm using this skin illustration zombie palette and this is actually a body paint which is going to get activated with only and only 99% alcohol and i'm going to take these three red red shades and, and paint inside my wound guys uh, let me tell you about the movie a little bit i personally didn't really like the movie this in the story the filmmakers didn't really show the monsters i mean i don't really want to spoil anything but uh for me i was just expecting a bit more but what really catches my attention was the sfx makeup part it was like really amazing even like the first half of the movie was quite scary and i was like literally feeling really uncomfortable to watch it so once i'm done uh, painting inside of my wound what i'm doing is i'm just uh, applying like a light wash of that same red outside of my wound and just blending it with my fingers this will just create a like kind of irritated look which is much needed in our case what i'm doing is that i have taken like a, a heavy quantity of alcohol and a very little bit of color that way i'm just like giving a light wash and uh, instantly i'm just blending it then uh, i'm just switching it uh, to this uh, blue shade of uh, my palette and using it here and there just to make my wound feel little bit more uh, raw i would say that just it started to get infested so yeah If you want you can totally skip it and you just stick to your reds that way your wound will look more fresh. You can always work around with your gore stuff so it's just take it easy guys. Yeah. Once I'm done with that I'm going to uh, create more depth and for that I'm taking this bruise will and this one is from Graftobian and I'm taking this dark maroon shade right here and applying it with a small flat tip brush inside my wounds this this will create an instant depth because i want my wounds to look very very deep 
and uh, so i'm just using it and this is a cream product like cream color if you don't have this particular wheel you can always switch to your uh, maroon cream lipsticks or like maroon eye shadows but make sure that you paint each and every corner so that your uh, skin doesn't show through Once I'm done with the painting, I'm going to apply some blood and this one is the scab blood from the company called the Graftovian again and as you can see it has like a um, thick gel like consistency. The thing is I'm just applying them inside my wound with that same brush and um, I'm just applying like really heavy handedly. We don't want to miss any spot and uh, I want my wound to look juicy and nice. So yeah, <laughs> and I'm taking this um, stippling sponge and I'm applying some blood, some scab blood onto it with the help of the brush and I'm just going to stipple it here and there as if like uh, blood splatters are uh, all over my wound. That way it's just going to get uh, more realistic and don't worry if you feel like that you're not really liking this organic pattern that in this case mine is like looking like a necklace. So I'm just going to go back and wipe some of the uh, splatters. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to switch to another blood. This is uh, from the company called Mehron and uh, this is actually a blood gel. You can see that it has a very uh, like thick gooey kind of consistency and I'm directly applying it from the spatula inside my wounds and you can see like it's just instantly make it makes it more realistic and more gory which I love. And last but not the least, our wound needs some dripping blood. And for that, I'm taking this Kralan liquid blood and I am applying the product from the help of my spatula. And I'm just letting it drip so that it kind of like give me that organic kind of look. Now moving on to our face. Uh, my face was already done. I have like proper makeup on, but we need to like play around it a bit more because um, I don't want my makeup to look so much uh, uh, glam and perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my eyelashes I actually need to take off one eyelash that I just instantly realized and then I just saved one <laughs> then I'm just going to apply some black eyeshadow uh, in my lower lash line and just smear it as if just I'm crying and my makeup is getting spoiled then I'm going to smear some lipstick around my lips as well because again like I am wounded and I'm not really particular about my lipstick and my eyeshadow and just like a final touch I'm applying some blood onto my lips as well this is completely optional but I just realized that my face is looking too Need for this look so I just applied some blood and that's it guys my look is complete if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel I will see you in my next video take care bye